I just spent I just spent a couple of weeks without water. Maybe it's not a couple of weeks. I don't know how long it is, but not having water gets pretty darn annoying pretty quick. Can't cook or wash dishes or anything. But uh, that was because my generator wasn't working, my big one. And I'm one person, so I can't pick it up and put it in my van to take it to town to get it tuned up. Now, luckily, we messed with it. I invited a friend over. We messed with it and got it working again. So that's great news. It still needs some help, you know. And, and really what, what it has to happen is that, uh, oh, damn it, is that the pump that's over there won't work on my small generator and it's not a 12-volt pump. It, and it only has to pump water from right there over to right there. So it doesn't need to be a really big pump. It should be a 12 volt pump on solar. My solar power is out right now. So I just have all these systems failing. It's very annoying. Um, I'm gonna work on my solar. That's gonna cost though. That requires the purchase of uh, batteries. And if I was gonna do that, solar panels have become so very cheap that it makes sense to go ahead and, and increase the number of solar panels as well and get a, a the number of batteries that match that and that would extend the amount of power I have immensely and I wouldn't be living in total darkness every night uh, and I could also have other people also using electricity um, I have buried cables throughout the, the property here one that goes to a building down there and one that goes 200 meters or yards or something up way over there to another building that will also allow me to have a backup uh, internet connection if I need to up there. That would be a very wise thing to do. Um, and then I can just slowly start digging out of the hole I'm in, uh, which is tough. It's tough being alone. Just inviting my friend over, and I'm paying him, of course, because uh, he needs money, and he wants me to be successful. He wants me to turn this place into a profitable place because that's his future, too. That's, you know, work for him. And we've worked together for 15 years or something, so all our conversations are easy. We both know what needs to happen and, and how to do it. He's a plant expert and just all around great guy. Uh, I trust him completely. Uh, so then I have the hard part of figuring out the people end of things still, but base infrastructure and cleaning the place up is absolutely critical. We did just check today my largest uh, big cistern. This one's only like 7,000 liters. I have one that's about 90,000. 90,000 liters of water. But I have no pump on that. We are using that to water plants. And one of the things he worked on today, I gotta make sure I keep track of this water because it's gonna suddenly overflow. And I gotta run down there and shut it off. Um, but we're. We cleaned up the plant area and did not lose everything. We lost some things. We, we have some plants that died because nobody was taking care of them or watering them after the rains went away. And the rains went away like a couple months ago. You know, kind of, yeah, something like that. There was a little bit of rain, but there's not going to be rain until June. There might be a tiny bit, but a tiny bit doesn't count. Hi, what are you doing down there? Having fun? What a cutie little puppy. That puppy has a lot of shit to learn. I can't really walk, I can't really leave here right now because what's going to happen is this tank is going to suddenly overflow. And I'm going to run over there and turn it off. But anyway, some of the experiments we did with, uh, for example, reproducing agaves, um, these big, huge plants to get, you know, like three meters across, uh, nine feet, whatever. And uh, and you can actually distill them. You can make a mezcal, which is like tequila. Tequila is made with blue agave, and the agaves I have, you make mezcal. There's two, two species I have. And uh, we figured out the magic way to reproduce them finally after years. Um, and I'll talk about that in some other video. 
I don't have as much annoying noise. And uh, there's just infinite amount of work to be done here. I gotta clean up every cabin. I have uh, five cabins and two huts that uh, could could have people living in them, but uh, two of them aren't quite finished. They need some actual work. The other ones just need to be cleaned up. And then probably I'll look at, since solar has improved so much over the past few years, um, I'll look at getting sol small solar panel systems in those spots or use what they call solar generators, which is a stupid name for them. They're battery packs, uh, and but portable battery packs that then people can can have charge at a central location and then take home to their dark house at night. Uh, that's not ideal, but it also is useful because it teaches people to use electricity more carefully. And that's one thing I want people who come here to learn. It's a very important thing is how to use less resources. Because tons of people think they need a shower every day. They think everything has to just use tons of resources. And that is just going to kill us as a civilization. You know, we have to retrain ourselves and, and use way, 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 way less, which I am very good at, unfortunately. I've learned it the hard way. But um, that's OK. You know, that's, that's the lesson we got to learn. And uh, that's what we'll do. Goodbye.